against Jesus Chavez. And I'm joined at ringside, as always, by Gil Clancy. And Gil, I can recall uh, back during the Atlanta games of following the boxing events there that you were very impressed with Floyd Mayweather. Well, Tim, this is a big statement to make, but I thought that Floyd Mayweather was the outstanding pro prospect in the entire Olympic Games. Well, he certainly has a great pedigree, of course. His uncle Roger was in his corner, was a two-time world champion. His father Floyd was a professional, and his brother Jeff is still an active pro. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this matchup here, opening our card this Saturday afternoon on the sports show. Floyd Mayweather, just 20 years of age, and his first year as a pro came in just a half pound over the weight, a reach advantage of one inch to Chavez, a 24-year-old who came in exactly at 130. And the Mississippi rules here feature a standing eight count if the referee so decrees. Count continues after the bell except in the final round. Only the referee can stop the fight if there are three knockdowns in a round. Then the fight is over. And now let's go to our ring announcer for the introductions, Mark Biero. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Grand Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi for an afternoon of all-star professional boxing on the CBS Sports Budweiser Boxing Series. Under the promotion of Top Rank Incorporated in association with Gell Promotions and Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, this Bud's for you. Today's bouts are under the auspices of the Mississippi State Athletic Commission. The chairman is the Honorable Billy Lyons, Chief Deputy Assistant Sal Taranto. This is your first bout of the evening or the afternoon. It is scheduled for six rounds in the Super Featherweight Division. Your judges at ringside are Robert Williams, Keith Hughes, and Tommy Kimmins. Your referee for this event from Folsom, Louisiana, Paul Sida. Here now are the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the black trunks, weighing in at 130 pounds. His professional record reads 22 victories, 16 defeats. He has 12 wins by way of knockout. El hijo de Hermosillo, Mexico, Jesus Piedrita Chavez. Chavez. His opponent, Wearing also the black trunks, weighing in at 130 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in eight professional bouts. Six wins coming by way of knockout. He hails now from Las Vegas, Nevada, the 1996 U.S. Olympic bronze medal winner, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, six rounds, super featherweights. We had Asus Chavez. We're giving you instructions to say if you have any questions. Shake hands, time, come on, box. Paul Cedar with the final instructions. Referee from Folsom, Louisiana. This one scheduled for six rounds. Mayweather 8 0 with six knockouts. Will be in his pro career, the bronze medalist in Atlanta. We're wearing the black trunks. Chavez also in black trunks. Final fair for the Mexican from Hermosillo, Mexico. Round one. All right, now, Tim, let's see uh, Mayweather with all his experience and his background if he can handle the southpaw. For a young fighter, that can be a problem. Quite a pedigree for Floyd Mayweather. We mentioned his uncle Roger, his father. Floyd Sr., a professional boxer in his time, and his brother Jeff, been around the gyms all of his life. Just turned 20 recently. Chavez at age 29, a more experienced boxer as a professional, but with uh, no amateur background, certainly none to compare with that of Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, a very personable young man, a lot of charisma, and going to become a very popular professional with the boxing fans around the country and around the world. Live boxing on the CBS Sports Show. It's more to come. Our heavyweights, Casey Glader, Luke Johnson, Lewis Monaco. Again, when you're 
boxing against southpaw, it's mind over matter. What Mayweather should be doing is moving to his left, trying to keep his left foot outside of Chavez's right foot to set everything up. Conversely, Chavez should try moving to his right, so uh, it becomes a concentra concentration problem for both fighters. Mayweather finding the range with his jab at the last exchange. Under a minute to go, round one, scheduled for six. Mayweather bringing the left up and down. Chavez blocks the next jab. Chavez sneaks in a left hand of his own. 30 seconds remaining. Short right hand inside Mayweather surprised Chavez. They were about to break her in the final seconds of round one, scheduled for six. Super featherweights Floyd Mayweather and Jesus Chavez. We're back live from the Grand Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi. Round number two of the Super Featherweight bout. Floyd Mayweather on the left of your screen now circling right. Jesus Chavez, his opponent. Not a great deal of action in round number one. Mayweather, the undefeated young professional at 19, the veteran Chavez at age 29. Chavez is Now Mayweather starting to find range with the jab and moving to his left as Bill Clancy always points out a slip there as Chavez goes down. And again, when, when Mayweather moves to his left and starts throwing that double left hook, that's when he's most effective. Sample of his quick hands there. He's less tentative here now in round number two. When you do it, let the right hand go. You see Chavez with his experience sliding over to his right, taking a lot of Mayweather's firepower away from him, making him look awkward. His ninth professional fight, Bill, a good idea to have him in with a southpaw for learning experience? No, I would not, uh, Sam. I try to avoid, when I manage fighters, I try to avoid southpaws at all costs. A little flash of heads, and Mayweather reached up to see if he was bleeding, and there is a slight cut at the corner of his left eyebrow, and he is already troubled by it. He was conscious of it immediately. And, Tim, that's another reason why I uh, try to have my fighters stay away from southpaws. It's almost inevitable that they're going to butt heads the way that their, their front foot is, is step on each other's toes and, and bang heads. Well, that has happened here in round number two, scheduled for six to Floyd Mayweather. First time he's faced this difficulty in his pro career. Under a minute to go in round number two. Good combination by Mayweather. Again, you can see his fast hands, Tim. Maybe a cut now here on the bridge of the nose of Chavez, unless it is blood from Mayweather. But he's definitely closing the distance. And Mayweather's eye is opened a lot more than it has been earlier, Tim. He's probably getting pretty angry. Under 30 seconds, we go in round number two. Mayweather trying to step up the tempo here. Bothered by that cut. Well, Miguel Diaz, one of the best cut men in the business, is going to have his work caught out, caught out for him between rounds. On Mayweather's eye. Final seconds of round number two. Mayweather and Chavez. Hey, with that, Mike. We're back for round number three, and you can see they had to do some work there on the cut, which is at the end of his left eyebrow. Probably high.
high enough to not become too much of a vision problem if they can uh, continue to do the good job they did there between rounds. Miguel Diaz in the uh, corner of Mayweather doing the uh, cut work in round number three. An accidental but they bumped heads Chavez and Mayweather in round two. Now the professional experience of Floyd Mayweather is enhanced as he has to be thinking about that cut, battling a southpaw, all part of the education, in his ninth professional fight. And Tim Chavez certainly had to uh, gain a little confidence when he saw that blood uh, coming out of Mayweather's eye. You can see the way he started this round. And the blood on the face of Chavez was indeed uh, Floyd Mayweather's. He does not appear to have any mixer cuts himself. But again, you can see Chavez continually moving to his right, and that is not good for Floyd Mayweather. You see how this throws Mayweather off. The fact that the uh, target is exactly the opposite of what he's used to. Right hand lead, that scored. Mayweather's hand speed is so much quicker than Chavez and his punching power. Chavez, 22 and 16 with 12 knockouts. That record does not include all the fights he had in Mexico, which were undocumented. He's 29 years of age. Tim, his body looks in great shape, though, Tim. Chavez. It doesn't look like one of those used-up guys that's the spare tire around the middle. And a minute to go, round number three, scheduled for six. 130 pounds. Mayweather going to the body for the first time, and their right-hand lead landed right up the pipe. Well, he's loosening up now, Mayweather. A lot more confidence in himself. Now the jab starting to hammer into the face of Chavez. But again, Mayweather has to learn how to cut that ring off. Now 30 seconds to go in the third. A mature performance here in this third round by Mayweather, not troubled by the cut, and Chavez unable to reopen it so far. And Miguel Diaz did a great job on that cut. Final seconds of round number three. Mayweather growing in confidence. We're back live for round number four of the scheduled six-round super featherweight bout. Floyd Mayweather on the right of your screen. Jesus Chavez from Hermosillo, Mexico. Now in the foreground and the jab of Mayweather starting to find its range with more regularity here in the fourth. No further uh, bleeding from the cut through round number three, the cut that occurred in the second round. But cause of that. And in fact, Gil, it seemed that uh, Mayweather gained in confidence through the third round. Well, Tim, he, he was fighting with an urgency in that third round. He knew he was cut, started to take some chances with that right hand lead, and he was very, very effective. <laughs> Chavez, the 29-year-old veteran, Mayweather, the rookie on the pro tour, if you will, just turned 20 years of age in his ninth pro bout. Bronze medalist in the is where he should be throwing that left hook, Tim. Right underneath the right elbow of Chavez. That sets everything else up if he can land that punch. In that sneaky, fast, right-hand lead connecting. <laughs> Another right hand lead scores. Chavez, for his part, is having trouble hitting Mayweather at all. Going for Mayweather or something, I'm not sure. I'll see the rest of his left hand without Jim. Okay, the catch, Bill. Finally, Chavez finds a little range, scoring to the arms of Mayweather. Mayweather is taking control of the fight here in the fourth. 
But again, he just can't land there. Again, anytime he throws that left hook underneath, back up on the chin, that's his best combination. Now showing his ability to elude punches. Foot speed and leaning away from Chavez. Right hand lead becoming more effective. After 30 seconds, we go in the fourth round, scheduled for six. That was the best left hook of the night. Right to the ear of Chavez, and that's him backwards. So now he adds another left hook, and down goes Chavez. The right hand lead and the left hook behind it, sending Chavez to the canvas. Remember, Eric Morrell, another Olympian, follows this bout. And Canadian Olympian Kirk Johnson, undefeated as a pro, a heavyweight, will be our featured bout. Take a look at the knockdown, Gil. All right, here we see. Here's that left hook again. Again, the most effective punch against the southpaw. Nice, solid right hand. There's the left hook on the chin again. And down goes Chavez. That first right to the body got Chavez's attention. And there's the left hook that sent him to the canvas. The body shot for the right hand, the one that uh, turned him away and set him up for the punches that followed. So Floyd Mayweather with a knockdown in the fourth round. And we're ready for round number five. A little slow to get out of his corner. They've already removed the spit bucket. Uncle Roger, the former two-time champion, helping in the corner. And Mayweather in control of the fight now with a knockdown scored in round number four. Circling to his right. See whether, and there comes Chavez. Trying to get himself back into the fight with a flurry, but most of the punch is well blocked by Mayweather resting in the corner. When Mayweather is trying to use this strategy, Tim, to open up Chavez because he just had so much problem landing his solid punches uh, with the way he's been moving. But if he can catch Chavez in the middle of throwing a punch, he can get this fight over with. Two solid shots from Mayweather there with the right hand body and head. A little blood from his cut again now here. That first opening flurry by Chavez able to start the bleeding and Chavez certainly not uh, going away anywhere here. He's trying to battle back in the fifth. This is scheduled for six. looking for that opening, not forcing the action here. And to Chavez credit, he's digging in. As he came out hard here in the fifth. Right hand lead again, he's been very effective with that. He's accurate when he throws it. And now he wobbles, Chavez who goes down, and it is a knockdown. Left hook, Tim, right hand, left hook. Second knockdown of the fight, this is here in the fifth. Chavez up quickly at the count of eight. Fox. And now the referee, Paul Cena, says, no, that's enough, as Chavez did not look to come back to the center of the ring. When he got up quickly, it looked like he was ready to keep going. But then he wobbled a bit. Paul Cena saw that and says, that's enough. And so Floyd Mayweather has scored his seventh professional knockout in nine bouts. He is unbeaten 9-0 and oh with a knockout victory here in the sixth. Then the fifth, pardon me, sending Chavez down. Straight right hand, there's that left hook, Tim. And that was it, right hand, left hook. Another look at it here from our overhead camera. Such quick hands. One of the things you talked about impressing you in his uh, amateur uh, appearance in the Olympics, Floyd Mayweather with those very quick hands, and he shows it here, that right hand lead, very effective. 
Chavez did get up at the count of eight, but uh, unable to continue, and referee Paul Cita jumped in there. And so, uh, next up now will be yet another American Olympian, Eric Morrell, the junior Bantamweight, outstanding-looking young professional, also undefeated in eight...